Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to present to you guys a different way of integrating composite functions. Integrating composite functions. Now, on the internet, most of the tutorials would do this through a method called U substitution. And um, even though it is a good method, I guess, um, the thing with that is it's a little bit complicated to understand why you do it. So if that's the case, you might as well just use a formula. And using the formula is a lot easier because um, you just follow the same thing. Uh, so you, you have a lower chance of getting it wrong. So let's have a look at the formula and I'll explain to you guys how it works. So the formula is basically if you integrate a function raised to a certain power and in front of the function you have the derivative of this function uh, in front of it then the integral of this composite function will be equal to f of x raised to the power of m plus 1 divided by m plus 1 plus c. So you can see it's quite easy to remember it. Now you're probably thinking how how is that easy? Well just let me give you a few examples and you'll remember this quite easily. So let's say I want to integrate, let's say, 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 5. And in front of this bracket, I have 6x. Now what you will notice is that this clearly matches the formula. Okay, because I have 6x at the front. I have... Inside the bracket, 3x squared minus 4. And what, I'm, what I've circled in green is the derivative of the yellow. So 6x is the derivative of 3x squared minus 4. Right? If you differentiate 3x squared, what do you get? 6x. If you differentiate negative 4, what do you get? Nothing. So this is the derivative of that. Green is derivative of yellow. So that means that when we follow the formula, what do we do? Well, it says that I just copy out f of x. So I'm just going to copy out 3x squared minus 4 raised to the power of m plus 1, in which case it's 5 plus 1, which is 6 over 6. Right? m plus 1 again, so it's 6 plus c. So that's it. You've done it. How easy is that? If you don't believe me that you've done it, try doing the check, which I'll do for you guys now. But this is not compulsory. Okay, the check is just for yourself to see that you have, um, you have done it correctly. So you should do it. So basically, you just go... Um, 6, oh wait, if y is equal to 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 6 over 6, then y dash is, so you bring the 6 to the front, so now we're differentiating using the chain rule by inspection. So I bring the 6 to the front, 3x squared minus 4, the divided by 6, I have to copy that down because that's part of the uh, coefficient. Now, I go 6 minus 1 is 5. And then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 6x. So then I will get 6 divided by 6 is 1. So I get 6x times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 5 which is what I originally gave you as the question. So this works, right? Because if this 
integrates if this expression integrates into this expression right if this expression integrates into this expression then this expression will differentiate back into the original expression so we've done the check so it does work our formula does work so I know what your next question is going to be this is sort of a coincidence that it matches the formula right it's got 6x at the front what if I gave you another question that is not 6x at the front what if I gave you for example another one with 5x at the front so let's try that let's do the integral 5x bracket 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 5 dx so you still write the formula down okay so the way to do this one you still write the formula down um, equals f of x to the power of m plus 1 over m plus 1 plus c you still write the formula down and then what you do is you substitute into the formula f of x you substitute this part into the formula so you go 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 5 and then what you do is you differentiate the inside and you write it at the front 6x and then you follow the formula through to finish off the question um, to the power of 6 sorry 6 over 6 plus c so you pretty much do exactly the same as what we did before okay but here's a problem the question says 5x not 6x so what do you do all you got to do is think of a way to turn this 6 into a 5 so how do you do that well if you guys remember this formula that I taught you guys in another lesson I went the integral of a bracket f of x is the same as a times the integral of f of x so um, that means that I can multiply by something outside of the integral and you can actually multiply it into the integral so it goes inside the integral so what that means is I can now multiply both sides by something okay to get rid of the 6 what I'm gonna do is I'm going to multiply it by 5 over 6 so what does the left hand side become if I multiply the left hand side by 5 over 6 then I can multiply it into the integral so it's 5 over 6 times 6x times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 5 dx so that divided by 6 times 6 cancel each other out so in the integral it becomes 5x 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 5 okay now let's do the right hand side if I have multiplied the left hand side by something I have to multiply the right hand side by the same thing so I have to multiply the right hand side by 5 over 6 using the balancing of equations rule so it becomes 5 bracket 3x squared minus 4 over 6 to the over 6 times 6 is 36 so that's the answer okay that's the final answer you can write it down again um, because there's no other way of simplifying it that's the final answer so to check whether we have it right I'm going to show you by doing a check so I go check if y equals 5 over 36 times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 6 then y dash equals so what do I do I go um, 
5 over 36 times 6 bracket 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 5 because I bring the 6 to the front multiply at the front minus 1 from the 6 times by 3x squared differentiate it as 6x so I have 5 times 6 times 6 is 36 x over 36 all right copying this part down times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 5 36 divided by 36 is 1 so it becomes 5x 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 5 which is exactly the same as what I gave you guys in the question so it does work this is definitely the answer okay so that's how you do it now just before we go I will give you another practice question okay just to make sure that you've got it so let's give you guys the integral of let's say th uh, 4x cubed plus 5 to the power of 7 and then in front of the bracket I'll just put 10x squared so integrate that using the formula and let me know when you're done come back when you're done so let's write down the formula f dash x times f of x to the power of n integrate this and it'll give you f of x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 to the uh, plus c so let's try and do this using the formula so I copy this f of x into the formula so I have 4x cubed plus 5 to the power of 7 now what should be at the front well it should be the derivative of 4x cubed plus 5 which is 12x squared so if I integrate this I'll get 4x cubed plus 5 to the power of 8 over 8 plus c what's the problem this says 12 this says 10 so what do I do multiply both sides by 10 over 12 multiply both sides by 10 over 12 so then what happens um, this will go to the inside this will go to the inside so then 12 divided by 12 times 12 cancel each other out I'm left with 10 x squared times 4x cubed plus 5 to the power of 7 integrates into um, 10 on the top 12 on the bottom so let's try and uh, simplify that so divide both top and bottom by 2 so I get 5 over 6 so it's 5 over 48 times 4x cubed plus 5 to the power of 8 plus c so let's do the tests if y equals 5 over 48 4x cubed plus 5 to the power of 8 let's try and uh, differentiate it y dash is equal to okay so how do we differentiate it move the power to the front 5 times 8 copy what's in the bracket to the power of my 8 minus 1 is 7 times the derivative of the inside so that's 12x squared now let's try and simplify a bit so I got um, 8 divided by 8 so that's both 8 8 divided by 8 is 1 48 divided by 8 is 6 so then I can go 12 divided by 6 is 1 2 over 1 so what's the answer 10 bracket 4x cubed plus 5 to the power of 7 times x squared so I'm going to write x squared here does this match with this let's have a look yes exactly the same so this is the answer that's the answer okay hope this helps you guys thanks for watching see you next time